Hello and welcome to another fabulous episode of You Matter podcast series, which is of course exclusively curated for cinnamon hotels and resorts. It's all about well-being, it's all about mental health, it's all about the fabulous initiatives that cinnamon hotels and resorts have actually come up with, introduced, put into play and actioned for their colleagues and for everybody out there who actually represents the cinnamon brand wherever they may be. Putting a very special focus on the colleagues and of course very special focus on well-being of their colleagues. And today we have two very special guests of course representing the cinnamon brand with us on this special podcast. We've got Jerusha Morais, Director Distribution and Channel Intermediaries and Tabit Karim, Executive Social Media Media joining us for this very special episode. Jerusha, Tabit, welcome to the show. Nice Thank to you be for here. having us. Thank you so much for being a part of uh, You Matter podcast series. And of course, we're talking about well being, we're talking about mental health, and we're talking about the attributes of uh, the initiative that Cinnamon um, Hotels and Resorts have actually actioned and making sure that everybody sort of is in the right frame of mind. Now today on the episode, we're actually talking about healing as we basically move forward. Now, if I am to start with you, Jerusha, um, what were some of the challenges that you faced in your journey uh, towards mental well-being? So uh, thank you once again for having me and uh, definitely a privilege to be on the show as well. So with regard to uh, how I started off, I've been uh, part of the company for eight years now. So I started off as an executive and now at this place. So it's definitely been a learning curve for me as well. Uh, So as I started off, some of the challenges I did face was uh, I was not the best communicator. So I would not effectively communicate. Uh, I did have challenges in uh, saying no <laughs> okay. and uh, setting boundaries for myself as well. So that was something that was a setback for me when it comes to my overall well-being at that point of time initially. Uh, but over time, I would say it's been uh, an amazing journey where I've got the right guidance, uh, you know, in terms of trainings, in terms of just the one-on-ones, you know. Uh, And that has really kind of helped me as a person improve uh, in my overall communication, places where I I need to speak, places where I need to be silent. You know, it's given me that sense of discernment, I would say. Places where you need to say no. Exactly. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, I'm still on a learning journey, but I I would say uh, that was my initial challenge. And I have come uh, a, a long way as of now with the guidance that I've got over time. Uh, as well over the last eight years. So we'll, we're going to dwell into that a bit more as we move along. But Tabit, what about you? Some of the challenges that you faced um, in terms of or towards uh, mental well-being. Uh, so I don't have the same experience as Jerusha does. I've been here for about eight months and it's been a learning journey being in the corporate environment and all. Uh, I think one of the main challenges that I did face uh, through growing up alone was trying to fit myself in this box to kind of grow as a person and to kind of find myself and be able to explore and find and like you know not be so conflicted with myself so I think that was one of the main areas that I found challenges in especially in my own mental health so yeah uh, that would be one of the main concerns or challenges that I did face throughout these years and I was able to kind of guide myself through that uh, while being here as well. So Jerusha, in terms of some of the initiatives that Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts have in terms of well-being of four colleagues and everybody working, uh, one thing which is actually spoken quite highly about from the time that we've been here is the Anagram program which everyone actually speaks very highly about. How has that helped your healing journey towards mental well-being? So um, in terms of Anagram, it did start uh, quite recently, I would say. Uh, We didn't have Anagram when I joined Cinnamon, which is eight years back. Right. Uh, But with Anagram, I would say this is a session that we all really kind of look forward to because it was that break in the middle of the day, break in the middle of, you know, a rat race. Um, And it 
really helped us kind of sit down, um, you know, unlearn certain things. Um, uh, for me personally, I would say it gave me a lot of awareness about who I am as a person, um, how I could better understand my colleagues as well, how I could put myself in their shoes when it comes to certain decisions, when it comes to certain ways uh, colleagues do respond to me. You know, it helped, it made me understand how I could kind of understand them better as well. So this overall, I would say, uh, impacted the team dynamics as well um, because we did respond differently to various, uh, you know, in various occasions. So for me, I have definitely benefited from the program uh, because it has, if I'm just to take an example, right, uh, recently from one of the sessions we learned about trigger points, right? right. Uh, so if you take trigger points, uh, I know my trigger points, but of course my colleague wouldn't know, right? So um, it helped me understand how I respond to certain situations and also not penalize or, you know, not react in a negative manner to a colleague who has a certain trigger point. So in terms of understanding, I would say it helped me understand my colleagues better not just from a work front but also uh, you know when it comes to personal relationships uh, i was made aware of so many terms you know that i wasn't for example totally stick thinking uh, some of you may not have heard it before but it's something that i did learn from the session uh, and helped me also tackle such relationships in a better manner so uh, that's how it has benefited me so far See, mental health journeys are actually very personal, uh, but it can also definitely impact workplaces. How has, how has that sort of, uh, the benefits of um, the initiatives that Cinnamon Hotels have obviously and resorts have sort of initiated, how has that actually helped you to transform what you learn personally, like mental well-being, into workplaces like this? How has that helped you grow at the same time? So I would say most of these sessions are not one-on-ones, -on right. right? They are conducted for everybody, right. which means it's, I, I believe these sessions also in a way bring everybody onto one page, which is much needed in an organization and in a working culture, right? So let's say for example, we learn about uh, a topic on totalistic thinking or trigger points or setting up boundaries for yourself. We've all learned about it in one forum, which helps us all align in our ways of thinking as well and have better team dynamics at the end of the day. So definitely in terms of a work aspect, you need team dynamics to achieve your goals, your KPIs. And if that's not there, well, it's a broken team. You know, a house cannot stand divided against itself. So I would say, uh, I hope I'm answering the question, but yeah, I hope, yeah. so basically it has brought us together as a team. Right, I would right. Say. So um, in terms of the Anagram initiative, before I actually move on to Tabit, uh, in terms of uh, the Anagram and the different initiatives that actually have been introduced by Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts, um, is that basically pushing individuals out there to identify themselves much more than they did before. For example, will a session, uh, will an anagram session, once before you walk into the session, will you come back knowing something different about yourself that you did not know you could do or you had within you? Definitely. So when it comes to uh, anagram as a practice, we do assess ourselves prior to the session and how we feel after the session. So for me, prior to the session from a zero to 10, it's always been about four or five because I'm walking in with a kind of uh, 10 things to do on, you know, my to-do list. It's a bit of, you know, here and there, right? So walking out, have I've always been at a nine or 10 uh, because for me, uh, I've got better understanding of my colleagues and my relationships as well, my personal relationships as well. So this helps me in turn uh, kind of communicate better so let's say I do identify a colleague where I, I need to be more, let's say, soft in the way I speak. You know, it's, it's helped me identify that about myself. Let's say I, I, I've, I have identified certain places where I could have been softer, for example, and implement that in that working relationship. So it's definitely helped me uh, evolve as well. So you've grown also at the same time. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Uh, Tabit, now, of course, as a young one, 
been in uh, Silman Hotels and Resorts just for eight months. Um, why do you think it is really important for JKH or Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts to actually have support programs uh, which benefit individuals out there, and especially somebody maybe from, I, I presume you're from the Gen Z generation, yes. right? So it's very important for the Gen Zs out there also in terms of having a very formidable support system uh, because you've grown up with social media. You don't see a time that social media was never around. So it's different because you're also being bombarded by content wherever you go. So why is it important for your generation uh, to have support systems at places like Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts? So uh, I guess my perspective is from the one-on-one -on -one sessions that I have right. and uh, it's actually very interesting because uh, I think one of the main things that I did struggle with was again finding myself in this box, right? right. So my way to kind of get through that situation was to better understand myself and the sessions that I went through gave me that understanding and also at the same time to realize that everyone's going through their own thing you know so you can't really uh, you know like if someone's reactive towards you you don't have to react in the same way like if someone's angry towards you you don't have to react angrily because uh, at the end of the day, like they also might have something going on with them. So once you start learning those things about yourself through these sessions, it becomes like very important to like, it becomes like a practice for you to be more mindful around other people. So these, these programs kind of set in place that, you know, the whole understanding of how we work as individuals and as a team together. So. Uh, as Anagram does the whole group session and brings everyone together like that, these one-on-one -on -one sessions are more in tune with getting you to where you can understand yourself better and put yourself in a position where you can kind of grow as well. So yeah, that would be like one of the main things that I would kind of tell is important for JK, for programs like this to exist. So you've been here for the last eight months. Um, when you walked into Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts, you had absolutely no idea they had something like this going on. Uh, if you basically take the eight months as your healing journey, are you in a better place eight months after with all the initiatives that's actually been introduced with JKH? Oh yes, uh, I would say that in a personal and work perspective, it's been beneficial for me to kind of uh, learn about the people who are around me and about myself because uh, again it is like you said that healing process it doesn't really end right. so uh, in that eight months it has been absolutely beneficial I would say and I think I I'm less uptight than I used to be okay all right so that's a different that's that's a different perspective altogether um, so you it obviously helped you calm down it helps you look at different perspectives and also basically have a broader um, sort of eyesight with everything that's happening around you. Yep. All right. Uh, well, of course, we've got lots obviously coming up and a very special podcast series courtesy of Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts. It's called You Matter. It's a great initiative that Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts have actually uh, actioned for their colleagues. And like I said earlier on, everybody who's working under the brand of Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts. World Mental Health Day, of course, very, very important. It's more important today than it was actually important five years ago. And again, it'll be even more important five years years from this point onwards because it is something that we all need to understand that we all go through different issues at different times of our life and nobody obviously has a sane mind so to say everybody has their own battles Jerusha if I am to actually start with you what would your message be out to everyone who's actually watching this episode it could be your friends it could be your colleagues it could be individuals who are actually working at other corporates out there what would your message be for uh, World Mental Health Day? So uh, when it comes to, I mean, change is a topic that we're constantly talking about today, right? Change in various aspects of life in even our nation. Uh, and I would say uh, for us as citizens of Sri Lanka, you know, as, as just humans, we have a basic responsibility, I believe, of creating a safe environment uh, for our immediate teams, uh, it could be at your workplace, it could be uh, in your family, in your friends. Let's just 
always also create uh, a safe um, place where there is understanding, where there is uh, a sense of belonging. Uh, so this in turn will definitely have a positive impact overall uh, in our society. Uh, so mental well-being I believe is not only your responsibility but also creating that uh, safe place for your peers, your loved ones and your friends as well. Well, Tabit, what about you? Um, from, from a young perspective, uh, I suppose it would be very interesting to hear what your message will be out to your friends in the same sort of age group on World Mental Health Day. Uh, like you said, I'm a Gen Z kid, so there is obviously a lot that uh, I still need to learn in the world. And to kind of help with that process, uh, having these sort of programs have, and understanding yourself better, uh, having that mental well-being of yourself, you know, you can keep yourself in a very steady pace and understand that things will happen in its own time. You need to make things happen, but at the same time, you have to understand where you need to slow down, where you need to put pressure. And the more you understand yourself as a person, the more you understand uh, how to move through life, I believe that is very essential for mental health as well because it's easier to kind of deal with whatever you're going through when you have that understanding of yourself. Well, thank you, Thabit and Jerusha, for being a part of this very special podcast series. It's been an absolute pleasure to hear uh, what you've gone through in terms of the healing process and how much is actually benefited with all the different initiatives that are actually out there for individuals who are working for John Keel's Hotels, John Keel's Group, and of course, Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts. So ladies and gentlemen, looking at World Mental Health Day, You Matter is a very special podcast series, especially curated for Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts. Mental health is something very serious, even though we might not necessarily consider it. It is something that um, you need to reach out, you need to speak to individuals out there because, you know, in a world like today, we have a million voices in our heads going on at the same time. Which one do you listen to? Which one do you basically shy away? It's a different perspective altogether. And Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts have actually understood how important mental health and well-being is for their colleagues and for everybody who obviously works under the umbrella of cinnamon hotels and resorts and some fabulous initiatives have been introduced and each and every one of them have actually taken this on with an open mind and of course enjoying the initiatives and growing with the initiatives through the healing process. We've got another fabulous episode coming up on the You Matter podcast series courtesy of Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts. Till then, have yourself a good day.